this is Mr. Horns 83, and this is another edition of Mr. Horns 83 Topics. And you want to know my thoughts on Extreme Rules? Here's my thoughts on Extreme Rules. That's how terrible it was. Alright, now I'm going to get to my topic. And before I start this topic video, I want to thank the guys at Pro Wrestling Pulse for subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys very much. And I also want to give a special thanks to J-Man for the great advice he gave me. And I'll keep doing what I do as long as you guys keep doing what you do. But now I'm going to uh, give you my thoughts on Extreme Rules and where WWE is going from here. And like I've been promising, I will be talking about the Mark episode of Are You Serious? But I'm going to start out with the first match, which was Chris Jericho against Fawn. Down, goal. And Jericho won, as I predicted. And I heard it was a pretty entertaining match, which is pretty good. And now I see that Jericho and Punk are going to be fighting a payback. Thank God they're doing something with Jericho. Something other than fighting jabronis like Fondango. And now I'm going to go to the second match, which I believe was the U.S. title match. And... Thank God, WWE got it right on this one. With giving Dean Ambrose the United States Championship. Thank God they got it right. And then the next match was, I believe, Randy or Sheamus and Mark Henry. And I said it'd be stupid if Mark Henry won. I mean, I wasn't trying to diss Mark Henry. I like Mark Henry. He's one of their best big men in WWE right now. He's better than guys like the Big Slow and the Big Goomba Great Khali. And, uh... So, I was just, I figured as a revenge factor, it'd be better if Sheamus won. Which Sheamus won. Then the next match was Randy Orton against the Big Show. Randy Orton won that, as I predicted. But what I didn't predict was he punted him in the head. So, hopefully, this is a heading toward a heel turn for Randy Orton. But who knows, because they got him teaming with Bryant and Kane again against the Shield. And hopefully Randy Orton turns on him at the at payback. Maybe that'll happen, who knows. Next matchup was the tag team title match. And again, WWE finally got it right. Like I said in my prediction show, if they're going to make the Shield this great faction like the NWO, the Four Horsemen... All these great factions, the Nation of Domination and DX and the Corporation and all that, they had to do something to solidify these guys as that great faction. They did. They gave Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns the tag team titles, which means that they're really getting behind this faction. A lot more than they did with the Nexus garbage, which was just completely a waste of time on Raw, SmackDown, whatever show they had. And now, I'm going to get to the next match, which was Alberto Del Rio versus Jack Swagger. Which, that match, uh, I heard it wasn't that good. I figured it would be good, because Jack Swagger's a good, a good wrestler. And so is Del Rio. But since Swagger's been back, He's one of those ones that I said got a title shot that didn't deserve a shot because he left and he came back and now, and then he's in the title picture and then the thing with him smoking the weed and all that, that just, I don't know why WWE would reward someone for that, but, but then, you know, Swagger won at first, but then they used instant replay and I think they were taking a cheap pop of it, cheap pop at NFL because Vince McMahon has done it over the years. You've seen what happened with the XFL. You've seen how JR used to say, oh, yeah, don't turn it on football if you want to see a bunch of uh, long kids or whatever JR called them. I forgot what it was. But they really took care of, they really probably took a cheap shot, and then they overturned the decision, and Del Rio won, which I predicted because Del Rio's the face and Dolph's the heel. And now I'm going to get to the main event. Uh, uh, when I seen the results for this one, I just had that terrible fear that this was going to continue. And it is. 
John Cena, Ryback, at Payback, Three Stages of Hell, who cares? Really? God, WWE, come on, what is wrong? Ugh, no, I don't even want to talk about it no more. Now, enough about Extreme Rules. Oh yeah, I skipped the Brock Lesnar Triple H match. Brock Lesnar won, which I predicted. And Triple H, I guess he's going to do backstage stuff or whatever now after what happened to Raw after Extreme Rules. So who knows? I heard that match wasn't that good either. I heard the pay-per-view overall was crap. But now I'm going to get to the big topic I've been wanting to talk about since I started this YouTube channel. I know I said it was rap, anime, and wrestling I want to talk about. But I want to talk about the infamous Are You Serious Marks episode. And, you know, that the episode didn't bother me that much. I thought it was pretty entertaining, pretty funny. The only problem I had with is the way Road Dogg and Josh Matthews was always dissing WCW. Well, you know, that's really brilliant to do that when... You're headed down the same path that WCW's headed with the crap you're giving us. God, WWE. You know, just shut up. Don't diss a company that you done killed just because you guys are going down that same route. It's just retarded. But, you know, other than that, the episode I thought was pretty good. I liked the episode. It was funny. I don't care what everybody else says. But... The internet, my problem, my main problem with the episode, it wasn't even the episode. I mean, yeah, the WCW dissing, yeah, I thought that was stupid because WWE's had down the same path. But it was what the internet wrestling community said about some other fans after, in response to that video. And I'm going to start with the biggest moron on YouTube. I'm talking about that retard who sounds like a retard. And says everything's awesome even though they're supposedly criticizing WWE. I'm going to talk about wrestling Jesus. And you have a lot of nerve to call people retards. Because we don't get on here and talk about... Uh, talk about what we don't like about WWE and that. You know why we don't do nothing? Because we know... Because true smart people know... No matter what you say, Vince McMahon... All he cares about is the money. And if you were smart enough as you think you are, you would realize that. So how dare you call anybody a retard? Wrestling Jesus, your freaking reviews are stupid. And I've watched some of your reviews, like the one about, like I just watched your Extreme Rules one. And you're like, oh, it was awesome. I give it a 8 point whatever out of 10. It was awesome. Yeah, it was really awesome. Shut up. Get off YouTube. Just go away. Next, I don't know the other two people's name, but there was this other guy who came on there talking about he was upset with it, and he didn't like the fact that WWE dissed the fans, well, the internet wrestling community, the marks, and he really was just, he didn't say nothing too offensive. All he said was that the ones that are on YouTube talk about how they don't like what's going on with WWE and all that are the true fans, which that's not true. Because I wasn't on internet. I wasn't on internet till this year. And I've been a true fan of wrestling ever since I was two years old. Two years old. That was like 1985. And uh, so, you know, just because we don't spend time on YouTube and talking about, you know, our problems with WWE and all that, doesn't mean we're not true fans. I'm a true fan. I just got on YouTube in April or March or whenever I got on here. But other than that, that's all I got to say about that guy. Then there was this other lady who also called the fans retards, which she was sitting there flip-flop and saying, well, I'm not going to go to no more WWE. Oh, I, never mind. I might end up going to another WWE show. Good way to flip-flop. You really, yeah, you're really smart. I'm going to flip-flop on what I said because I'm not going to say I'm not going to go to another show because I might go anyway. Just, you know, pick, and one thing I did agree with with Wrestling Jesus was what he said about the McDonald's analogy. When he said someone came in with fries and said they were messed up or something and McDonald's said F you. And that's what WWE said to their fans. That's the only thing I agree with Wrestling Jesus on. Other than that, he's a retard. And the lady... 
whoever I forgot your name, but you, you're you don't make no sense. You're gonna flip flop. You, I don't know these these freaking internet wrestling community guys. The only wrestling review show I truly like is the guys I just thanked at the beginning of the video because they are actually true friend fans and they sound like true fans. They don't sound like retards like Wrestling Jesus who runs on here and oh that was awesome, that was awesome, that was awesome, that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> Shut up Wrestling Jesus, just drop dead or whatever. I don't mean that literally. I meant that figuratively. But just be quiet. But uh that'll wrap it up. If you haven't seen my review show of Vampire Hunter D, check it, or not Vampire Hunter D, Blood the Last Vampire, check that out. It's been up there for over a week now. And please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more, and check out my vlog Monday. I will let you know what my next topic show is. Also, tomorrow night, I will be reviewing this bad boy, and the video will be shorter than what this one is. But I will be reviewing this. I mean, it may look beautiful. At first sight, but after you hear what I got to say about it, you'll think otherwise. And thank you, that's all. Like my Facebook fan page, and please like this video, and subscribe. Thank you, peace out.